Today I'm going to make two summer cards using elements from a die cut block. I'm starting with uh, one of my favorites and that's stencils. And I'm going to add Distress Oxide ink. First to the center of the flowers and I add that in a turning motion. Make sure to add the ink with light pressure, don't press too hard because that will damage the applicator. And then I'm coming in with the second color and I add that to the outside of the flowers around the heart. I'm adding it with a little bit of an overlap and that will give you a bit of a blended look. Now blending is less important with stencils because it's less visible. And with the ink blending tool it's hard to don't get an overlap so the blending will well, basically go sort of automatically. And then I come back in again with the first color peacock feathers to blend the colors a little bit more. And this already looks stunning but look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I did another one in the same way and I'm going to use that for a card. I'm using the die cut block and I'm picking a few images that I take out of the block and it's... Uh, it's really easy to do when you wiggle with the shape and the paper a little bit and they are very easy to take out of the die cut block. It's fun to browse through the block to pick some images that speak to you. I've taken out a few more shapes and now I'm adding some foam to the back of the flower and I'm adding that to the flower crown of this lovely lady. So it stands out a little bit more and you create a little bit of depth which I always like. So then I move my pieces around like I always do and I add a lady uh, on top with a ball behind her and a flower. I turn the ball a bit to see which way I like the pattern to go and then I hold my hand over her feet to see what she would look like without her feet and if I want her higher or lower on the cart. It is kind of cruel so it's important to <laughs> cut her feet off at the right place. I have a sentiment strip that I cut in pieces and it's one of the sentiments that I use from the funny fishy quote sheet that you can download and I will have a link for you in the description box. And then I'm going to glue all the pieces in place. I have some foam to the back of the lovely lady so she is raised a little bit and uh, she will stand out a little bit more, which I always like to do. And then I add her in place. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some highlights with a white pen. The added white will make the colors pop a little bit more and it's fun to well personalize it a little bit. So you have an original shape that no one else has. And often adding a bit of white can help the other colors look even better than they already do. And then I'm going to glue the sentiment in place. Adding the sentiment is easiest when you have all your colored parts in place so you know, uh, so you can see where there's a bit of open space that you can fill up with your sentiment or with a quote. Now I'm going to cut off the excess bits that are sticking out, including her feet. And even though these bits are tiny, you can always save them to use on another card in combination with another die cut or shape. And finally I'm going to doodle around the sentiment strips. And this is always a fun way to make your strips stand out more. And also if you hand cut your strips then you can hide a little bit that they are not quite straight. And also the added black lines will make your sentiment pop a little bit more. And this is the finished card. For the next card I have a piece of pattern paper and I'm going to score it randomly using my scoreboard but you can also score it or fold it by hand. And then I go over the folds with a bone folder to get some nice crisp creases. Off camera I added some ink to the folds, I colored a piece of card and added a pattern with a stencil. I add some color to the edges of my fishnet with ink that was still left on my sponge for a subtle shape. And then I cut it in half. I shared some tips on how to cut an intricate die like this in a previous video that I will link to in the description box. And then I'm going to glue my net to my card. I only glue the outside bits because the middle part will be covered with the folded panel. I add a net close to the edge of the blue panel so it will be visible when I add the folded panel on top. And I add just tiny bits of glue on the tips of the net to get a bit of a light and airy look. I don't want the net to stick completely to the card. I have added some tape to the back of my panel and then I add my panel on the card. Now I'm going to add some highlights to the shapes that I'm going to use on my card. And the highlights really make a difference. Just with a white gel pen adding some little details can make a complete difference on the look of your elements. And highlighting parts with a white pen is just a 
intuitive. Just feel where some color or some white needs to be added and then just add it. It's really that simple. And using a fine pen like this is uh, the easiest way to add some highlights. So you don't get uh, big blobs of white uh, making your images look totally weird. And if you are afraid to mess your piece up, then just start by adding little bits of white, like on the edge of a shape or highlight an eye. So now I'm going to add my pieces to my card to see how I want them and then I glue them in place. And this is one of my favorite parts in card making, the finishing of your project with all the bits and pieces that you put together. I added some foam to the back of the little seahorse. This will make it stand out because I've added some dimension. I love to use dimension on my cards. It will really help the, the focal point pop a bit and it will lift the piece also a bit from the background. Then I'm going to add a little text bubble and then this card is also finished. I really enjoyed making these cards with the elements from the die cut block. It's a really fun way to create cards and other projects and getting some color and images on your creations pretty fast without the fuss of fussy cutting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to grab your quote sheet and as always make sure to keep on crafting.